Please be upstanding for a new recording of Things We Like. <laughs> Hello! Hi everybody! Hello. Hello! Hello! Welcome to Things We Like. This week, uh, from uh, an outside location, we're not in the default chateau tonight. We're, we're out of the chateau. We're in a shack. A shack? Yeah, a shack. A lovely shack. Well, it's a beautiful shack. Not a shed. No. It's not a shed. Definitely it's not, not a garage. Shed. It's not a barn. It's a shack. In the wilderness of wherever we are. Yeah. <laughs> Burked out. Yes, we're deep in the swamp and there's alligators out there, snapping turtles, gators, swamp things. Gators. Uh, gators. And you can hear the lovely sounds of banjos oh. and violins and fiddles. Sorry, fiddles. Double and bass. Double bass. Double bass. Double bass. Yes. And, uh, Man- mandolin is it not mandolin yeah, yeah. Is that me, mandolin don't know a bit of washboard that bo- there'd be a bit yeah, of washboard, a washboard go, yeah, a bit of mm-hmm. that box you sit on that you slap and the crazy the, the things, jugs the, the jugs the mm. yeah what's that yeah. what's yeah. the yeah. Boing, boing juice harp? Yeah. Juice harp? Is that, is that what it's called? I'm not sure that's what it's yeah. called I, I think, think that's just the hats made you think that have you gone like slightly Australian for this edition I haven't no a guy I went to uni with Tom you know, Tom the Hobbit, he listens. Uh, he he had a Jews harp. He told me it was called a Jews harp. Oh wow wow wow! Yeah, <laughs> cool. So oh, um, I'm off by the way. <laughs> I'm Jan. I'm Andy. I'm Jim. Oh. And this is things, things we, we like. like. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do that. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> if Rev Dan was here, he'd, he'd be very unhappy. He would lose his nut. Mm. Wow. Well. <laughs> oh. Well, I've got something I like to kick us off this week. Uh, bat suit. Bat the new suit. bat suit. The new bat suit. I haven't yeah. seen it yet. Oh, mm. Well, you should. Is he muscly or is he like sexy? Has he got nipples? He doesn't seem to have nipples. It He's very kind of, veiny. It, right. It, oh, I bulky. thought it looked like scars, but is it meant to be veins? It, veins was what strange. came up with for me. <laughs> <laughs> He's very much in the style of Dark Knight Returns Batman, like Frank Miller, mm, Jim Lee, yeah. stuff like that. Tiny ears. Denny O'Neill um, style, tight Denny ears. Mm, yeah, and you can almost forget for a second that it's Ben Affleck. Batfleck. Yeah, which is nice. His, his car looks good too. Mm. I've seen his car. His car does look good. It looks like the uh, one from the old films, doesn't it? Yeah. More so than the, the big buggy. It looks like a cross between the two. Like it's, yeah. yeah, it's got all the armour and stuff from the new one, but the sleek and wings from the uh, the old school ones. I have to say, I've seen like the one. Pro- uh, uh, was it, is it just that one photo shot? So far, there's two. There's the two. back of the car with the shroud on and then Batflick standing in the front of the car. Oh, okay, I've seen the one with him standing in the front. I have to say, it's not the best angle of his chin. You know, no. which really seemed yeah. like the selling point of Affleck for Batman for me. Yeah, but he's and, doing and that whole down thing, isn't he? So yeah, you can't quite get the turn slightly of his jaw. away. I know he's got the he's that's that's the only thing he's got for the role. And they're hiding it from him. maybe, mm-hmm. but that, maybe that's a good thing. He was the bomb in Phantoms. He was. Yeah. Well, actually, I've seen Phantoms, and he wasn't the bomb. Peter Rose yeah. Hall was the bomb in Phantoms. <laughs> Peter Rose Hall rocks that film. So Affleck. Ben was Affleck was the bomb in Extract. I've not seen that great film. Well, I shall give him the benefit of the doubt. Have you seen the colourised version of the black and white Batfleck photo? No, I haven't. I want to. It's on our Twitter feed. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. Shows how much attention I pay. And the stuff, it doesn't really look veiny in that when they've colourised it. It just looks more sort of like crinkles on the suit and okay. bulky. Is it grey and black? Well, I'll tell you what I had heard about it was that it wasn't like a fitted... Yeah, thing. it doesn't it look like, like armour. It yeah, looks like it was like fabric, costume. so it might have been that it was just wrinkled and it didn't come across very well. When you say fabric, it's not like... Well, not, not lycra. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like sort of like a Kevlar or something. Yeah. It's like a thick fabric, but... Yeah, it's fabric probably, fits a large range it's of probably things. Latex. Probably towards the Kevlar side. Yeah. It? It's probably painted latex. Yeah, probably. <laughs> to be fair. A big, sexy Affleck. But it, it looks huge, isn't it? Is it black and grey? 
all coloured black and grey. Well, well, that's it. It's not a bit crazy. The colour photo. It's someone's oh, taken someone and colourised it. Oh, okay. But they've done a real good job. It's some fellow off Reddit. Okay. Because what I don't want to happen is it, we see a coloured version and it looks like a modern day interpretation of the Adam West Batsuit mm. which I love but I just don't think it's got the, the gritty nature of the film I'm expecting I'd love to see somebody turn that gritty like be really close to that original one but <laughs> but you know make it dark Big uh, even cow. with the like the grey eyebrows I just, say like, the way. Just, just more evil grey eyebrows just do, do a full featured Hollywood film of that Batman just have it be as slapstick have them actually stop and you know do the kapow and then like and all of a bit of a dance and, and, yeah, and yeah. go back to fighting and that'd be great yeah. who would you have as Batman in that? in that style Batman oh my god for Seth MacFarlane yeah that's who I was thinking of but it's like mm. it's, it's trying to I don't know it's like yeah. it's I too much like so he's much. copying it <laughs> I just hate him so much <laughs> you want somebody who's going to bring something maybe a little bit different Oh, yeah. I'd want him to turn himself down a bit as well. Oh, heavily. I don't need him to be wacky and madcap. I need him to deliver these lines in like a Leslie Nielsen fashion. But that's he del- Batman, what's his name? Adam West completely delivered the lines with belief. What? That's yeah. why it's awesome. It's his voice that does it. Yeah. His voice here. And that conversation he has where he, with himself uh, and Bruce Wayne, <laughs> with Batman and Bruce Wayne with two phones and you know, not even covering one of them and just speaking into the other one. Like, that's how <laughs> phones work. <laughs> And if you hurt Miss Kitka, yeah. I will bash you brutally. <laughs> <laughs> Legendary. Mm-hmm. I've probably watched that Batman film more than I've watched any other film ever. The first Batman film? Yeah. 1967? I don't know when it was made. But I used to go to my nan's every Saturday and watch it. So I, over the course of six years, I watched it maybe 45 times a year. <laughs> Explains a lot. It's impressive. Mm-hmm. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Which yeah. is great that they put that in Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the big payoff of the whole film for me. Just that one scene. <coughs> but yeah, I- I'm impressed with that. Uh, it's. Can I, can I just interject a question? Because I'll forget and I want to know the Only answer. Only you propose the question a la Destiny's Child. Mm. Uh, I don't know how to do that. If you tell me now, you can just cut out this conversation uh, and I'll do you, it. You do it in the, the Greek way as well, which is very similar to the Destiny Child. It's just a replacement of the word. Quite. Mm. No, <laughs> Ara. <laughs> That's how every question I mentioned. So that's why we used to sing. Well, I say sing. We used to <laughs> mildly <Ara>. sing. Go, <laughs> Ara. <laughs> say the Greek. Like so basically, <laughs> to ask a question like Destiny's Child, you go question, and then you do your question in a kind of little sing song voice. Oh, okay. You know this now, don't you? you know. Okay. Uh, I can't remember the n- oh, I can't remember the name of the thing, but uh, uh, I'll do my best. Okay, question: What the fuck is that new Seth MacFarlane film about? Oh, that was the one. One. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. You what see, the fuck is I, that? I, I, I did think that they they'd made a film that looked really good despite it had Seth MacFarlane in it. <laughs> it's like they put all these other characters in just because he's got it's like a, some kind of conspiracy to make people think he's actually funny when he's just a complete shithead. Do you know the I best thing I ever saw Seth MacFarlane do? Like, I don't mind Seth MacFarlane, I don't have as big a hate on him as you do anyway, but the one thing I do think he did that was really, really good, you'll know this, because I think I watched it at yours, was the Disney Broadway stuff. Did you see that? Disney Broadway. Disney found a load of, like, Broadway musical shows where they'd, like... They found all the scores and all the and all the lyrics and everything, but they like lo- they didn't have any recordings of them ever done anymore and all of this. But they found a load of them, and Seth MacFarlane and a bunch of other people did a massive show of them. And you know, because he can do that kind of style singing, can he? And crooning. Yeah, and <laughs> well, because they do that a lot. Stewie and Brian, all those. Yeah, I think that's where it comes from. Yeah. Like he loves his show tunes. It's quite obvious. But so. that was really good, to be fair. I mean, obviously, he was cranking out some voices. For some of the songs that were, you know, very, you know, Stewie Brian esque mm-hmm. or things like that, but it was really, really good. I was impressed. And it is things we like, after all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the the f- uh, what is that film called? The new one? A million ways to die in the uh, world. That's yeah. it. it does well, look I good. watched the trailer and was like, "Have you two time travelled? What? I don't." The, the, I need to know more. <laughs> I should probably just read some shit about it, but I didn't have time. I think it's just set in the West, and it's full of people dying. I think it is actually full of people dying in it. There seems to be lots of people dying in the trailer. It's quite gory, apparently. Yeah. 
I'm just, I'm surprised he's in a film or, or written anything that isn't about a man and a dog in some form, or in some variation. Teddy bear. Man, man and a dog, man and an alien, man and a teddy bear. You know, it's just <laughs> man and an anthropomorphized yeah. creature. Man and a bear. Cleveland show. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of right. I I blocked Cleveland show out of my mind. So bad. Yeah. But I think he does have a good ear for dialogue. I think he writes witty dialogue. He just writes terrible stories. Yeah. If he could write a scene that lasted more than three minutes, he's like a punk. <laughs> That's how he approaches his writing. Just a three minute blast and it's over. Mm, familiar. That's crowbar a reference or two in there. And we've got a show. <laughs> I did really, I did really like the bear in my cereal gag. Where it just pans out and there's an actual bear in his cereal. I don't know why that one tickles me, but uh, I like the thermostat. What joke in the first episode where he turns to the touches the thermostat and he's like, "Did you touch the thermostat?" And he's like, "How does he always know?" And then there's like th- three or four other dads behind him going, "Is my kid in here?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like the sense every man has. I think we have in my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like his uh, Peter Griffin's farting competition with Michael Moore. Oh, yeah, where yeah, they fart on dueling branches. Brilliant. Brilliant. It's just watching the directions their feet end up in underneath the toilet cubicle doors. Mm. Did you see the Oscars that he did? Simple animation, very funny. No, I didn't. Was it any good? I saw it was quite funny, but he got in a lot of trouble. Why? I don't know. He was pointing out people's tits and stuff. He was pulling out people's <laughs> tits. Pointing. Oh, okay. And uh, didn't they know they had them? <laughs> something, it was something about like uh, part one of the songs, like and everybody knows we all seen your tits. And then it's sort of like I can't remember it. Like to somebody on the big screen. Yeah, no, it was like yeah, it was like Charlize Theron or something, and she just had a face on like fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> that does sound quite funny. You'll yeah. still get less trouble than um, what's his name from the office. Oh, I Ricky Gervais. Yeah, when he. You know, mention some anti-god sentiments oh, in the. You can't be yeah. topical when hosting the Oscars. No. no. Yeah, he started talking about closet <coughs> homosexuals. Yeah. Like, uh, Tom Cruise. Did he really do yeah, that? Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was really wow. funny. Yeah, I bet it was. <laughs> but again, got in trouble. But yeah. they invited him back. But he played it down. It's all very nice gags. I think someone had a word with him. Yeah. Mm. We can destroy you, Mr. Gervais. <laughs> they should get <laughs> Matt and Trey to host the Oscars. That'd be great. Oh, yeah, that would be brutal. <laughs> yeah. Didn't they go to the opening of, was it Team America, um, on acid? <laughs> Quite possibly. I'm sure they went, to the, they, went, they went to the opening of something. I know they went to the opening of the South Park movie dressed in the dresses that famous actresses had worn for the previous Oscars <laughs> they just for the red carpet bit. also went to the Oscars dressed like that <laughs> oh, wow because they had uh, Blame Canada up for uh, an Oscar which would have been amazing if they'd won it was a very good episode yeah I don't, I don't know you're not your buddy pal would have been amazing but, uh, mm. anyway. the new South Park game that's something I like oh. mm. I've only played about an hour of it so I probably <laughs> shouldn't have introduced that that's the topic Let's talk about the first hour of the South Park game. <laughs> I, I've yeah, you've done nothing in the story about <laughs> I haven't just wandered around the town. Butters has been moaning at me for to do quests because I'm just exploring. I've been to, back to talk to Officer Bob Brady about 15 times. He keeps tweeting me or Facebooking me, whichever it's going to be. <laughs> yeah. Have you done any quests yet or anything? No. Mm. Oh, I, I, I've done a couple of the like the um, side quests. Side quests. Yes. Yeah, I've cleared the uh, Tower of Mongolians <laughs> and let Romper Stomper out of jail. Have mm. you met Al Gore? If I'm not, no. <laughs> He's good. Yeah. I've heard. Uh, yeah. You also have to fight Man Bear Pig, I believe. <laughs> if yeah. such a thing exists. Yeah. <laughs> I did wa- I watch the Imagination Land trilogy yesterday. Oh, oh, it was yeah. quite. Yeah, it was very good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, it is a cracking game. It looks. As you play it, it's like watching an interactive episode of South Park. All, all the graphics and everything are spot on. Like the tone of the comedy is spot on. It's it's great. If you like South Park, you will like this game. Plus, even the fighting system, which is what usually pisses me off on RPGs, is a lot more fun because it's all South Park moves. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's the best way they had to do it. I wouldn't have done it another way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I played the N64 South Park game many years ago, yeah. and that was just bizarre for being in 3D. The, yeah. um, they had a gun in that that made you dance, didn't it? Made you dance for 30 <laughs> seconds. And if you shot someone with it, they just started dancing. It's the alien. Oh, shit, race. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you could just do what you wanted to do. 
Oh, well, you know, in the context of the game. Mm-hmm. That was like a four player split screen battle mode, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Well. I like, missed that. Similar to GoldenEye in it's, so many ways, yeah. this, but it's still new, so different. The new one, Pick of. Stick of Truth. Stick of Truth. I wouldn't say Pick of Destiny, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just doing it. uh, the Stick of Truth. Like, this is like the Final Fantasy style roll up to your fight, pick a move, it does yeah, the move. Turn based. I fucking hate that style of game. I do, game. but this. It works. I mean, works. yeah, I'm. I can see for that form. Some of the bit. some of the mo- well, the moves are hilarious. The first special you get is um, called well, Grievous Bodily Harm, I think. Anyway, it involves you throwing a baseball up in front of a child uh, that you fight in. You swing the go swing the baseball back. You have to, you, well, obviously you're meant to press A to hit the ball, but you can't press A to hit the ball. You can only press it too early or too late so that you just smack the kid in the face <laughs> with the baseball bat. But you cannot press it on time. Who did you select, like? Warrior or something. I was Warrior, yeah, yeah. Oh, has anyone gone for Jew? Yeah, I've, I've started a Jew playthrough. Is it any good? Is it, is it massively different? Uh, you can get a few more achievements, such as mm. one called Are We Cool, where you get the achievement for finding Jesus as a Jew. <laughs> so that's good. Uh, the classes don't seem to have that much overall variation. They've got different moves, but like they're stacked pretty evenly. Mm. So there's not much difference, and the storyline won't change per class. Yeah. So, but yeah, I went as a thief for my first playthrough, reading some nice, nice little racist compliments from Carmen. Mm. Do you? I wonder because I've never played. Well, I've never had one character. I've not played as a, a black character because you can. Kind mm-hmm. of, you can pick the full range of the spectrum. Um, but does he still make the joke about the not being? <laughs> when you go to Thief it says hmm that's strange I've never I've seen, never seen this in a white Thief yeah but if you're black does he still say that I'm not sure I was surprised that you couldn't be a girl but then unsurprised because it was South Park yeah. plus that's, I actually saw an article about that it's a big point the fact that you play as a dude because at some point there's a gender based thing we're not going to go into but it's more of a gag and it, it's a whole sort of story bit that wouldn't make sense if you were playing as a girl yeah exactly and that's that's why they've they've done it like that maybe there should be more girls in games but I'd say we concentrate on the stories first and we fill out the characters later mm. plus the article I saw was written by a girl and said she said it, it made no difference she still enjoyed it just as much why wouldn't she good good yeah. I like it when girls can play games too yeah <laughs> <laughs> that probably sounded a lot more sarcastic than it was intended yeah, I genuinely do like it when girls could play games too who's had the same this one I don't mind. I don't mind. You did the last couple? <sighs> wait, 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 wait. Do we go on After three? three? So it's one, two, three, show. <laughs> one, two. Three. Oh. So who's doing it? Uh, you, you, because you win, or? because <laughs> <laughs> you win. It's his choice. Hmm. If you do this one, I'll do the next one. No, you do this one. Keep him sarcastic. Oh, I'll do this one, you sarcastic bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I've got a thing I like this week. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to basically listen to silence depending on how long the editor decides to leave it in silence. Basically, <coughs> we'll, we'll put the link up. It's a method of do- drawing a diagram, right, to calculate large numbers. And it's on the website 22 Words at the moment. I was to say, we'll sort out the link so you can see it. But I may give it a go and explain it sort of as it's going <laughs> along. You can do this. And uh, hopefully it'll work. And, uh, yeah, okay. So, we need two three-digit three numbers. Um, 276 and 342. Oh, amazing. That sounds a little bit like you read that. Did you imagine that in your mind? <laughs> I, I write down everything I say before I read it. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's not editorial. Yeah. So, we're going to multiply 276 by 342. Now, the idea is you have like a almost like a diamond shape in front of you and you draw lines from like top left to bottom right so you do two lines because it was uh, it was two seven six two lines then a gap then seven lines because it's going to be difficult because it's quite large numbers but even so (coughs) so he's drawing away from him at a 45 degree angle to the right a set of two lines and a set of seven lines. 
This is to be honest really with you, radio. It's probably <laughs> worth just going on the link to be honest and watching the video and then coming back and joining our conversation. Some and, people uh, might hoping that I fail. Uh, right, and then you leave another gap and you draw six lines. Forty five degree angle to the right. It's two seven six. Well, I mean you don't have to though, you could just do it left to right and then down again but it makes the last bit slightly more complicated. I'm just trying to get some of the texture of the scene across to, <laughs> to Radio <laughs> Land. Okay. So, so I'm just going to make these slightly longer because they're not. It's not going to be quite square. Otherwise. He's lengthening the lines. They're about six centimeters. Five, I'd say. Six. 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 Easy. A good six. Mm -hmm. Let's see. That's it. Five. Down to the bottom. Get down right. towards five. So now working from the bottom left of the diamond shape to the top right of the diamond shape you do three lines together this representing the three from three four five three four, three, four two. two so three and then we do four he's drawing them at opposite angles it's it's starting to look like plaid or tartan yes <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm starting cool. to believe this might be some kind of joke it's not a joke it's not a joke <laughs> Right, okay. Now, um, you have to separate, like with a smaller number, you'd separate it into three, or with the size of number that we've got, you, s you separate it into five. So, you get clusters of, cr of, of lines crossing over each other, so you put a little loop in there, a little loop, oh, sugar, a little <laughs> loop in there. Right, he's Little. dividing up the <laughs> intersecting lines into five quadrants. I don't see any time when this is going to be faster. <laughs> <laughs> separate something into five it's quadrants. It's going to be faster than calculating. <laughs> Surely you could work it out just with math. It's before, just before interesting. This. It's interesting, but you can do this for really big numbers or whatever. But right, like, yeah, if yeah, you're yeah. good at maths, no, it's yeah, not. No, I'm, but I'm if not, you shit at maths, then it, it'll help. Right. Right. So you count the number of intersections... In, in each in quadrant. The, in each quadrant. So in that quadrant. Wait, not. Well, I know you mean quintrant. <laughs> twelve. You get twelve. You have to carry the one. I'm also gonna retrieve a calculator <laughs> so we can <laughs> test for the theory. <laughs> I think I've worked it out in my head already. <laughs> <laughs> so how about them nicks? The nicks are bonds. I didn't realise it'd be this exciting. <laughs> Stay calm, Andy. Uh, I don't think I've done it right. <laughs> okay, well, what's the answer that you've got? Uh, 94,392. <gasps> You're spot on! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Sound! Witchcraft. Okay, well, that's the first time I've done it as well, so I that's imagine good. if you did it. On, on more regularly, you well, might find that quite interesting. Right, so try and explain what you've done at the bottom there. So basically, you add up the number of of units in the Inter intersections. in the intersections, yeah, and it reads from left to right. So when you add up the numbers, carrying obviously, if you go into units of ten, remainders, rem yeah, you add them onto the next one. So in the first, in the far right hand group, there was twelve dots. So that's two and carry a one. In the next column, there was 38 dots, but because you'd carry the one, that's thir that's 39. So you put the nine and carry the three. Oh, you're going to put this up there. Cool. He's talking about his penis. <laughs> <laughs> that's underneath the pad. Uh, so then the next one was there was 50. Carried the three, so you put three down, carry and put the five over. Um, the next column there was. I don't know. There was my twenty something, and yeah. Well, basically, we added it all together, and it was right. So it, was, uh, magic. it doesn't matter how it works; it works. But yeah, I saw that on on that website. It was like I, I'm, you know, they call me El Nombre. I smash open calculators to find out where the numbers live. I like maths. Why do they call you El well. Nombre? Um, well, because that means the name. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't. I don't worry about these things. That's <laughs> what they call me. That's the best name ever. <laughs> yeah. uh, El Nombre yeah. is the name. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, I don't know what that's got to do with maths, but that's what they call me. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
Oh no! Wait! Don't wait! Carry on. <laughs> well, I just think about the ammo brain, but that just means I am brain or something, does it? Yeah. You're the ammo. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, there we go. So that was like really quite a bizarre one for things we like, but uh, yeah, look at the pictures. Go and watch the guy's video. Have a go. It's good. You know what I mean? Having fun with numbers. Thanks, on am very. <laughs> <laughs> so, has anyone else liked anything this week? I like the fact it's sunny. Mm. And it's sunny more often. I mean, we went down to the beach last night, and not that we live near a beach. The beach <laughs> was just past the, the banjos and the... We decided to drive down yeah. there. Yeah. It took us a long time. The traffic was fine, though. So, so we got nice. there in time for the sunrise. Yes. Because mm. <laughs> we're morning people. Yeah. So that was great. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. It was really nice. Yeah. Beers, music, mm. well, sun do it more often moving now. in the sky in a direction we won't be talking Creating about. Creating warmth mm. with radiation. Mm. It was cool. And there were a lot of clouds that were in interesting shapes. They were. I could only ever see squashed things yesterday. There was a great big eel. That was cool. He looked squashed to me. Candy floss. Hmm. Yeah. There were a lot that looked like clouds. <laughs> Weeds me out. Yeah. There was a, uh, a squashed rabbit. Mm. Clouds send my brain funny when the light's going down because you know, your brain looks for the shadow when they like the darker bits mm. and tries to make depth out of it. My brain doesn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> it just kind of goes really out of focus. Oh, awesome. It is nice that it's sunny because usually at the chateau <coughs> we record these things in the middle of the night. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's nice to get some vitamin D. Huddle around the fire. Yeah, because the only time we, we would uh, ever have the possibility of getting out in the light is when we record. Yeah, well, this is our entire life. Yeah. We, we, we <laughs> we're going to, to shut down yeah. mode when we're not recording. Well, well we, get, we get 20 minutes every day to research some things so that we know that we have something to like we each week. We sit in a dark room playing computer games and watching films all week and until we, we get to this day where we, we tell everybody about the things that we like. I'm reading journals. We read journals. Scientific journals. Yes. Well, and peoples if we can get hold of them. <laughs> we read people too if we can get hold of them. Yeah, we'll read anything. Palms. The signs in chicken bones. Read tea leaves. Um, I've got something else I like this week. Uh, not to be a bit of a hog or whatever, but I did see it. It was good. You like hog? Yeah, I do. Mm. Well, that's something I like as well. Uh, the Butler. Anyone seen that? Right, I've not heard amazing reviews for this. I thought it was really good. It was. It's pretty brutal. That's the, re the problem people have had with the reviews. That it's pretty brutal. No, no, it's the fact that it's like a true story, right? They've invented most of that brutal stuff. Oh, really? To sell the movie a bit more, sell the story a bit more. No. What is the story about? I don't think mm. I'm familiar with this. No, it's a not. shame. I thought it was a good movie. I, I have no context. Answer my question, God It's damn about it. a butler. <laughs> is there a little bit more that you can give away at this stage? It's about a really good butler. It's about who he bottles for as well. Who does he bottle for? El Presidente. Mm, POTUS. Uh, and yeah. When is it set? Well, fuck. From like Eisenhower to Clinton. Oh, so he's the yeah, president. He's the butler for several presidents. Yeah. Oh, you don't need to vote a butler in. Like eight. <laughs> It's presence. Uh, this is some class scenes in it. It's mm, really that does sound quite an interesting concept. Yeah, and I don't know. There was some interesting points made at the end of it as well about that. Like I don't know. Like, and I suppose that's why they had to juxt. Well, they didn't have to, but like you say, they're glamorising it by putting in all the revolutionary stuff. Well, that stuff happened whether he had family ties to the people involved or not. Right. Whatever. It's a. It, I think it does create a juxtapositioning of the ability to revolt within a society that's like that like you know and I think part of oh is there a lot to do with like the emancipation movement that's yeah the right word the uh, yeah 60s civil black right. empowerment civil rights yeah movement. yeah um, yeah loads and oh because he's a black butler yeah and I think you know there's 
stuff they're talking about there that's like some sometimes there's the active revolutionary and sometimes there's the passive revolutionary you know like the ability to to show your ability to do things creates more chances to do things as mm. well as fighting for more rights to do things creates more rights to do things you know what I mean it was you know l looking at some of the stuff to do with that so I'm going to keep slapping my hands <laughs> and talking so that there's lots of beats over everything we say it's a very positive film I hear right yeah uh, no it's no. it's it's quite sad I would say Oprah's pretty good isn't it Oprah isn't it yeah she should play, she play Oprah she, she plays the butler's wife mm. Oh, cool. Good on Forrest him. Whitaker as well, who's class. Forrest. Mm. Do you like a little bit of Forrest? Ghost Dog. Forrest. Yeah, Ghost Dog. That's Way a strange film. Yeah, that is pretty strange film. It's good. And then, uh, oh, in fact, that's a brilliant one for the uh, for the film game because uh, Robin Williams plays Eisenhower, yeah. which is eight, and I'm sure he might have played like must be one of the actors who's played. More like, than one president. Well, he's played a few now. Uh, but anyway, no, he come played on. him in Night at the Museum. Yeah, but that, he was also in that film as the president, like not as a real president, playing just a president, as it were. Different subcategory, playing fake presidents. Oh, okay. Mm. That doesn't. Well, still, he's done it loads. What was he fake president in? What? What one was he? Like a random film uh, president? Is that one? Of, I can't. Remember. The one where the comedian gets elected to be a president because he says for a laugh, "Oh, I should run," and then everyone went, "Oh, Is yeah, it you should." Dave. No, but that's no. what I was going to bring up. Yeah, that's a very good. That's film. the one that came out the same time yeah. with Kevin Klein. Mm -hmm. I don't think it came out at the same time, did it? I think it came out like a year or two. Yeah, the between. past. But anyway, the past. He's in that as Eisenhower with Forrest Whitaker, and of course they were both in Good Morning Vietnam together weren't they oh shit yeah, it's a good yeah, forest one she's cool and a good Robin Williams one yeah is that, that's a fucking cracking film have you seen Hudson Hawk yeah mm. I watched it on Wednesday and it was fantastic oh with Bruce Willis yeah. with the musical it's, it's, it's basically yeah, it's a, 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 uh, like a cartoon mm. it's like done like a cartoon the bit where that guy hands him that note it's my favourite bit yeah. of the whole film <laughs> there's, there's even a, a blow dart about to be fired at them and he puts his mouth on it blows it Goes into her throat and then he goes, <laughs> and blows her away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good film. It's like, who's it? The two, the, the um, oh, I can't remember the name of the family, Maximilians or something? Uh, Rich D. Grant and Lips Hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's, they're a whole good Lips hair. bag of Lips crazy. Lips Hair, that chick. What was her name? It's very strange looking. Sarah something. She was in Roseanne, she did loads of stuff. She got lips and hair. She's got really big lips. And lips really hair. Yeah, lips hair. Not in a bad way. She is kind of weird, cute. And that's for Richard E. Grant. <laughs> it's like an adventure romp film, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're it's like cat fun. burglars or something. He's like. a cat burglar who's being forced. He just got out of prison and he's being forced to I, do I'm a job. And for some reason, this guy who lives in Rome and wants to take over the world, that's actually his plan. He says that he'd ask this crappy gang of people who bullied Bruce Willis to go back into being a cat burglar to get him a cat burglar. So he, for some reason, they, he felt the need to hire someone in Los Angeles to buy him a cat burglar to trick him into doing a job for them, and then put him in a crate and fly him to Rome to do that job. That was the easiest solution to his problem you could think of, and it was all finding parts of Da Vinci's machine so that he could create gold from lead, and therefore destabilize the world economy. And that's Richard E. Grant. Grant as well. Sounds good. I've, I've good. yet to yeah. see this. And it's the, very the gang all eat a different chocolate bar. The name of the one, different chocolate yeah. bars. There's Mr. Snickers. Very Kit strange. Kat. Kit Kat, yeah. Very strange. It must have been a licensing nightmare. No, or I think possibly it was, an advertising yeah. boom. Well, when, when you first saw them, one of them was like eating a Kit Kat. Okay. The other one had one sticking out of his pocket, and it was like it, Bruce Willis has like identified these people as like danger, but they've you know close with them reveals there. Holding in some way a candy bar. Mm. They had lots of neat. It was kind of like National Treasure as well, but pre National Treasure. Yeah, yeah. But it was the way it was done was very cartoony. You know, there was mm. lots of like uh, slapstick and. At the time, it bombed so hard they thought that was the end of Bruce Willis. Yeah, okay, yeah. Really? Yeah. Ninety one, it was released. And now they know that he can release bomb after bomb <laughs> after bomb. <laughs> and he will be fine. <laughs> I agree with Mr. Gas on this one. Bruce Willis is an underrated actor. He does a lot of fluff, but he's done some great stuff. Yeah, he has done some great, like, really good stuff. To yeah. Be fair. 
you know. Moonrise right. Kingdom. Fucking twelve monkeys. Twelve, 12 monkeys. The jackal. I'm gonna say it. Oh, we're getting. <coughs> that was a fun film. Every time it's on, I'll watch it. Yeah. Every time. That's what's around there. Every time. It has a series of people who check around the world television shows, series channels. There's some on any channel in the world. He gets onto it. He watches it. Some weeks I'm just constantly watching all again. <laughs> it's terrible. It's a bane of my life. Do you anything you like quickly? A quick things we like. Well, not not necessarily quick things like Jim hasn't had his, his shout yet. Do I, I, do I like anything? I don't think so. What do I like? I like noodles. This week I'm heavily into noodles. What kind of noodles? You name it. Ramen noodle, thick udon noodle. Mm. I'm like eating the cold noodle with sesame seeds on. Well, really a great. rice noodle? I have a lot of time for a rice noodle, for an mm. angel hair noodle, for a brown noodle. Hey, incredibly yeah. versatile. Have you eaten all of these types of noodles this week? In the past three weeks, maybe. I've eaten a lot of noodles in the right. past week. I've been experimenting with noodles. <laughs> What's the end goal of your noodle experiment? I don't know, just noodling. Oh, I was hoping you had some nefarious scheme to destabilise the world economy with noodles. I, I, it must be doable. I'm thinking about it. This is just practice. <laughs> it's like when Bruce Wayne went to that prison in Taiwan. <laughs> it's not the main event. So I'm building up to something. Yeah. You've just got to find out what, what noodles are capable of Yeah. before you can really start applying it in the right areas. And I'm nowhere near, nowhere near to top it out on the noodle. They're, they are sent here from a wondrous place. To destroy us. Possibly. Um, just one second. Thank you. That's all I've been about this week. That's all you've been about this week? Just noodles. Well, noodles are pretty damn fine. Mm. Mm. Which I think leaves us with just, uh, just time for a quick things we like. Uh, I like quickly reduced Easter chocolate, 20p for a cream egg. Boom. Mm. <laughs> Uh, the Flash, <laughs> specifically <laughs> the new trailer. The trailer. Have you seen the five-minute one? I've yeah, not, with where he. I've not seen the five-minute one with? because it's like yeah, yeah. where they, they were marketing as this. This is the entire plot for the pilot condensed to five minutes. Yeah. So I decided I wouldn't watch it because I intend to watch the pilot. It is more or less. The, the, it's, it, yeah, it's the whole thing, including the big finale. I'm assuming, which pisses me off. But yeah, it looks good. He is doing the sort of like. Right angle arms <laughs> thing, but they've made it work. Okay, okay. Uh, holidays, being mm. on holiday, I'm on holiday, I like holidays. It's this true. isn't my holiday, even though I'm away from home. <laughs> this is a uh, work. But yeah, of course, sorry, thank you. Well, in fact, this week, haven't you been on a staycation? I have. A staycation. Yeah, that's it's where, a you, that's where you take time away from work, but don't go anywhere. Right, I see. What is that? What's that short for? What's what short for? Staycation. As well, in a vacation like where I stay in Emerald. Didn't get that at all. <laughs> <laughs> I like finishing work for the summer. Mm. That's a pretty massive like. Does it remind you of being at school? No. Because <laughs> that was the last time I finished work for the summer. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't remind me of them because I didn't do the sort of things I do now in the summer, mm. like back then. Terrible things. <laughs> like, and I suppose the summer holidays stopped having meaning for you at college, but that year then you just didn't really go to college. It wasn't the full year. I definitely went. I got chucked out of maths. Uh, and Despite being a maths genius. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> well, because I used to fall asleep in class all the time, and like I'd like write stuff in the steam in the window, like help backwards and things like that. And like then she'd ask me to answer a question, and I'd get it right, and she'd go, "That's not the point. You need to pay attention." <laughs> and I'd go, "Clearly, I don't." And then I got shut out, mm. which I kind of I don't blame her for. In fact, she was a legend. She was my form tutor, my maths teacher, and. Really, I gave her more than enough ammunition to choke me out of college, and she didn't. She Did she look like Michelle arms. Pfeiffer? No. no. Um, lovely lady, though. Uh, I'm not going to say her name. But uh, yeah, that, that was pretty nice of her, really. I wouldn't have. I mean, not that it really mattered that I got my A levels, but. Pff, you know, she did let me get them, I suppose. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I did take a two month holiday uh, just before <laughs> the exam period started, uh, and then came in. I have passed my exams, you know what I mean? You've got to relax like, before an exam. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, 
Did, did I do the wrong thing? I might have been so stressed out I would have got the same grade anyway. If I'd been just working that whole time rather than dossing about. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. That turned out into quite a long thing then. <laughs> yeah. It did, but it was good. It was good, yeah. It was good. And it's not hindered my education at all, so... <laughs> Well, thank you for joining us uh, this week again for Things We Like. If there are things that you like, we'd like you to get in touch with us at thingswelike at hotmail.com and like us on all these Facebooks and Twitters and YouTubes that exist these days. Right, so we're going to get our uh, gators and wellies on. Are they called mm. gators, them big wet trousers? They are. The, those no, big they, wet trousers. They, yeah. <laughs> aren't gators also, though, like slang for alligators? Which yeah, is where we are. That's so why we'll get both. Hard. Yeah. yeah, get get your gators on. Think get on your gators. gators. Waders, waders, waders. Yeah, waders. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah, Right, our big waders that are ironically gators because they're made of alligator. Bow, <laughs> and we're gonna like start trudging off back through these swamps. We're gonna play a song, though, aren't we? We're playing a song. We're gonna chill out and have a have a bit of a jam. Before oh, before we, we leave, yeah. yeah, yeah we yeah, can't obviously. go wading out in the swamp until nightfall anyway, because we'll be spotted. Ooh, that's yeah. true. So uh, let's. Uh, well, you got a banjo. Everybody got the machines. 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 <laughs> machines Everybody got their machines. I've got my machines. Uh, I've been Jan. I've been Jim. I've been Andy. I've been Al. Uh, and this was things we like. Three, two, one. <laughs>